वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज एन अदर वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली टॉक्स ऑन गोइंग इन नरोबी कैनिया बिटवीन द टिगराय पीपल लिबरेशन फ्रंट एंड इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एंड मिलिट्री कमांडर्स ऑफ द टू साइड है वट हैपन टॉक्स वर ड्यू टू एंड ऑन वैनस डे बट टॉक्स एक्सटेंडेड वट आर द ऑब्स्टिकल्स बींग फेस्ड बाय द पार्टीज इन रोबी कैनिया सेकेंडली इट सीम्स दैट इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू बैन क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द पीस एग्रीमेंट Ethiopian media authority is going to issue guidelines about how to report on the peace agreement details for you thirdly amhara peoples negotiation delegation apnd was formed by some amhara diaspora and uh, groups based in the amhara region apnd wanted to be a part of talks in pretoria south africa but it wasn't allowed to be part of talks now apnd has issued a statement about the peace agreement apnd seems to be uh, welcoming the agreement at the same time rejecting some points mentioned in the agreement uh, firstly viewers uh, we know that uh, second round of talks is underway in nairobi kenya between the tplf and ethiopian federal government representatives uh, originally talks were held in pretoria south africa for around 10 days and after that the two parties signed an agreement around 8 days ago on the 2nd of november they signed the peace agreement in pretoria and uh, now talks are focusing on implementation of the peace agreement first and foremost uh, point mentioned in the peace agreement is disarming of tplf combatants modality is about disarmament are being discussed this is the most sensitive point for tigrayans for tigrayan diaspora uh it was uh, being said that talks uh, would end on wednesday but uh, talks could not be concluded on wednesday no consensus could be reached and now reportedly talks will be held till friday today is thursday it means that uh, in the next 42 hours the talks will go on and after that final announcement will be made what are the sticking points uh, i discussed the sticking points uh, in a video yesterday main obstacle is uh, the presence of eritrean army in tigray uh, tplf negotiators the tigray military commanders want uh, Eritrean military to leave Tigray before the start of disarming of Tigray People Liberation Front fighters. After the conclusion of the ongoing uh, meeting in Nairobi, Kenya, TPLF will have to surrender heavy weapons in ten days, starting from the day after the conclusion of the meeting. Meeting is still ongoing and. overall process of disarmament must be completed in 30 days uh, the agreement stipulates that uh, from the signing of the agreement till completion of disarming of tplf combatants uh, there must be period of a th- 30 day period it means that 2nd of december is the last date agreement was signed on the 2nd of november so till the 2nd of december all disarmament must be completed surrendering of heavy weapons surrendering of light arms keeping in view tigray security situation too obstacles persist if talks are not concluded uh, by friday it could point uh, to serious disagreements 
TPL is still under pressure about disarming Tigray and diaspora, uh, some opposition parties, even some TPLF leaders are against complete disarming of Tigray forces. Though uh, only heavy weapons will be surrendered to Ethiopian National Defense Force, light arms will be handed over to Tigray regional government, then an interim government will be put in place in Tigray, elections will be held, and new government will be in charge of arsenal of small arms, which will be then distributed among members of uh, uh, Tigray regional forces, Tigray special forces, which will be formed in coming weeks and months. That's what happens. We'll update you tomorrow uh, on Friday. Let's hope that talks uh, end successfully and the parties agree on modalities uh, about implementation of the agreement by Friday tomorrow. Secondly, viewers, it seems that Ethiopian government is going to ban criticism of the peace agreement signed uh, on the 2nd of uh, November. Why? Because uh, Ethiopian media authority chief Mohammed Idris yesterday spoke. He said that uh, uh, Ethiopian media authority was going to issue guidelines about how to report on the peace agreement, that hate speech and false information about peace agreement, about implementation of the peace agreement should be avoided. That is why guidelines are going to be issued and uh, media uh, outlets, uh, journalists, uh, analysts will have to follow these guidelines. This week, uh, guidelines uh, are going to be issued by the government. Let's see which guidelines will be issued. It will be interesting to read. but. Uh, uh, if government bans discussion, government bans criticism of the peace agreement, it will not lead to respect for the agreement. Uh, social media is there. People will share information, all types of information, disinformation as well in social media. A healthy discussion must not be banned. There is no uh, harm in discussing the agreement. Uh, those outlets, those uh, analysts, those journalists who are spreading false information, yes, they should be held accountable. But if you say that only government's narrative about peace agreement should be propagated by news outlets, it would be a serious uh, limitation and it would. Uh, not lead to any uh, peace and stability. Healthy discussion must not be banned. And so far we have seen that Ethiopian media, Tigrayan media, Amhara media as well to a large extent, they have played a positive role in backing the peace agreement. We have not seen any uh, planned uh, systematic campaigns against the peace agreement. That is why healthy discussion must not be banned. Uh, thirdly, uh, Amhara a People's Negotiation Delegation was formed to be part of talks. Uh, Amhara Association of America, some groups and individuals from the Amhara region like Dassel and Chene, uh, were members uh, of uh, the delegation and they were behind the formation of this platform. Tafir Amamu, former head of uh, Amhara Special Force, Dassel and Chane, member of parliament from Gajim Amhara region and two other Amhara people were uh, announced as members of Amhara People's Negotiation Delegation and AP and E uh, in a statement urged African Union to make AP and E part of a talks. AP and E was not allowed to participate in talks held in South Africa. Uh, Amharas already being represented uh, through Ethiopian government's uh, negotiators team. There are 
some of Amharas representing the government there, representing that region there. Though Amhara people's uh, negotiators, uh, they claim that, the delegation claims that uh, those who are representing Amharas are not representatives of Amharas. They are members of Prosperity Party which is involved in genocide of Amharas. Now, uh, this uh, platform mainly uh, comprising uh, Amhara intellectuals from abroad and some Amhara members of parliament uh, ABND has uh, raised some questions. Firstly, it says that uh, Rai and Volkait are part of the Amhara region, but agreement did not clearly say that Rai and Volkait are part of the Amhara region. Secondly, it says that constitutional reforms are needed in Ethiopia. No mention of it. And thirdly, it says that uh, genocide of Amhara is being committed in Ethiopia. More than 15,000. Around 15,000 Amhara intellectuals, Zafano fighters, journalists are in prison. Uh, so the party which is imprisoning Amharas can't be representative of the Amhara region. And uh, it wants inclusivity. It wants participation of its delegation in the ongoing peace process, uh, which is not very likely. I think APND's main concern is about the future status of uh, Raya and Volkait. The agreement uh, does not clearly state anything about the two zones. It only says that talks will be held about disputed territories uh, and through negotiations these issues will be resolved. That is why uh, uh, this platform seems to be rejecting the peace agreement. Thank you for watching.